anytime you do a new type of job for the first time, probably need to get that up there. Like, hey, we now do GAF uh, solar. Or we do Tesla solar shingles. Like, if you're not teaching your salespeople to be part of the 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 force on social, do that now. Talk to them now and say, when we post something that's decent, I'm not even saying good, decent. None of Hook's clients, but there are people out there that have just generic stock graphics from, you know, like, hey, we're starting a business. Let's throw some stock graphics up there. Hey, how's it going? It's Tim Brown, and this is the Hook Better Leads podcast. And today I have Michael Gogan from Company Cam on. How are you doing, man? Good. How are you, Tim? Doing very good. We're talking about showcasing your work better with company cam and then basically I- ideas for getting more out of any gallery that you have on your website. And then we'll talk through some features for company cam galleries as well. But there's a lot of mistakes that people are making in showcasing their work on their website right now. You can go to your website and see these mistakes. I I almost promise you, right? There's some things. So some of the things that I'm seeing, and I'm curious what you're seeing, but I see people that are not, they're not showing what they want to grow. I say, show what you want to grow. You know, so some people will, will put some work up and then whenever they put the work up, when they make the website, they leave it. So I've had clients that have the same work on their website for six years since we made their website which is probably not ideal for selling more of the work that you want to do. What other mistakes have you seen people make in their galleries on their website? Yeah, I think it's interesting you you bring that up right away because that was that's kind of where my brain was at. As, as a contractor, if you look yeah. in the mirror and you say, I don't remember when we did that project or... <laughs> none of none of Hook's clients, but there are people out there that have just generic stock graphics from, you know, like, hey, we're starting a business. Let's throw some stock graphics up yeah. there. And you just forget yeah. to go back to it. And I think those are the two things. Like, if you go to a contractor's website, they're like, I don't really remember when we even did that job. Probably need to get some updates going. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, we didn't act. That's not even one of our jobs. We just threw that on there to start a website. And here we are five years later and haven't updated yeah. anything. So that's one thing. And then I, I'll go with the analogy on the, the hook here. Um, I love talking with contractors about fishing in the body of water that has the fish that they want to catch. Uh, you know, <laughs> and you kind of alluded to that. It's like, hey, if I want to grow my um, commercial roofing division and all i have mm -hmm. on my website are residential jobs i'm not really fishing in the right right body of water here i'm trying to catch yeah. sharks but i'm fishing in a small pond in nebraska it's like that's not going to work for me so i think that's a big thing mm -hmm. too is you know getting your website started is one hurdle but then keeping that content fresh and up to date is is something where a lot of contractors struggle so if you're my client right now, I'm just going to speak to you directly. I would make getting new work added to your company cam gallery with some nice photos a priority or your gallery. So let's, the reason I like a company cam gallery and kind of promote it a little bit here is like, you shouldn't have to talk to your agency or your marketing person to have to get work added. So either learn how to utilize the gallery yourself and your website whatever it happens to be, or just use a company cam gallery um, or a company cam showcase so that you can get fresh work added monthly, monthly, like a new project, ideally at least one new project monthly to your gallery so that you can show more of what you actually want to grow. Um, and somebody just asked me like just a second ago, like, do I need to, what do I need to do? Sign into WordPress um, what do I need for this? Because I told them I, th this triggered me to remember to ask them. And they, I just said, no, you don't have to have your WordPress login. All you need is to get into company cam and to, to bring existing work over to your showcase gallery. So whatever you're calling your showcase gallery, getting it into that section of your company cam. And then it will show because we already have it embedded on their website. As long as you have it embedded on your website, which 
It's very easy to add to the website. It adds um, value from an SEO perspective because it's not an iframe. Just for people that are technical, it's not an iframe. It's actually embedded code um, in the actual website. And it's got things like descriptions and and stuff like that. So, and Michael, you were saying how this could be good for things like upgrades. Yeah, and so I... I love the fact that I, I fell into a tech job that serves contractors because I'm, I'm the furthest thing from a contractor. I've learned a lot in the six years I've been with company cam about, you know, roofing and remodeling and construction, but that's, that's not where my background lies, but I happen to be a homeowner. And so I can think very much like the contractor's potential clients. And I'm saying to myself, if you get me to your website and you've got jobs that help me almost self-select into the type of product that I want to have in my house. And so mm-hmm. I love the the story of I've got a nine and a seven year old. So you can imagine what our walls look like in our house. Both boys, I should have said that both boys, we're playing football, they're wrestling, you name it. Um, and if I land on a contractor's website that talks about this, you know, extremely scuff resistant paint that maybe is the highest end of upgrades, you're not saying that in the description. You're saying, hey, we did this for a family of six that had a, was very active, and we added the scuff-resistant paint in the basement um, mm. to keep the walls looking great. I'm saying to myself, that's what I need in my basement. And so I'm calling you up, Tim, and I'm saying, Tim, i looking to get my basement repainted. I saw you have got this scuff-resistant paint, and you're saying to yourself, man, it's usually so hard to get that upgrade conversation started. But because of how you position it on your website – I'm just self-selecting into that. I'm going to say, tell me more about that. Yeah. Like, okay. I love architectural shingles. Like for instance, I'm a big, like I'm a weird fan of like malarkey Highlander. Uh, They have this modified polymer shingle that makes the granules stick onto the shingle. Like they look pretty. They look solid and they're stronger and thicker and stuff like that. And if you have great photos of that job, then maybe somebody who just wanted a regular, you know, just wanted their roof done, but then they fall in love with a product. You know what I mean? So like anything, right? Like any anything that you wish you could sell more of because you think it's awesome, make it look, you know, take good photos on your website. So yeah. it's definitely... I- Something to be desired about the way a lot of contractors are choosing projects, though. And one of them I'm going to throw in here real quick is just some jobs for each category. So in you should make your, your gallery, whoever, whatever gallery you're using, cat, like filterable so that they can get the type of work that they want to see. That's, what I, that's one thing I love about Company Cam. But we've also built these out on sites with filters. I just like company cam because it's super easy to add to and it doesn't, you know, it's not hard to make. So, but make, make sure that there's a couple jobs in each of the categories. So don't just put in one job for every category. Ideally there's like a, a little bit of work in each one. Yeah. Well, and, and to that point, I was just poking around some of our clients, you know, showcases before we jumped on here and white castle roofing. I was looking at theirs and, you know, shout out to malarkey as well. They had a, malarkey class four impact resistant shingle and if i'm in the midwest and my my roof the reason i'm calling a roofer is because of hail and i'm calling this and i'm saying hey tell me about that impact resistant shingle you've got i saw you did some jobs Mm -hmm. uh here locally that have that and they're saying like oh well it's resistant up to this amount of size of hail or whatever and you're saying to yourself you know what, I think that's what I want because I don't want to have to go through this process Mm -hmm. again or whatever trade you're in. But I think that, you know, just really like having a versatile library of different types of jobs, I think where you're talking about, you know, updating it at least monthly, anytime you do a new type of job for the first time, probably need to get that up there. Like, hey, we now do GAF uh, solar or we do Tesla solar shingles. Like, let's get that on our website and let's, like make sure people are aware of what that looks like. And we talked about before we started shooting just that upgrades you can put in the description of the company cam gallery. And if you use it, I'm I'm just kind of doing the two, the two options so that no matter what you can improve your galleries with these principles, but company cam has it. The showcase has it all built in. 
there should be a description for each of the, the jobs and maybe um, more information is going to sell it better. So not only the picture, because I, I will say the malarkey shingles do sell themselves a little bit. They're, they're gorgeous. Come, uh, malarkey, get at me. I want to be in, I want to talk to you because they have the, some really ridiculously good products, but the, the photo alone might not kind of explain that like impact resistance, right? Like, so making sure you fill that all out, like it does. And it, sometimes it's a marketing manager, right? Sometimes you don't have that product knowledge. Utilize this as an opportunity as you're adding this stuff to the gallery to go talk to salespeople or project managers around what's cool about this project. We have to make case studies internally at my marketing agency. People have to communicate internally about what makes it good. So if you're a marketing manager or somebody that doesn't have this product knowledge, go use this as an opportunity to learn about it because guess what? Those photos, if they're taken and they're good, are probably going to be good for social too. And um, Michael, what's your belief about before and afters? Whew. I I talk a lot of or I talk to a lot of contractors and a lot of different trades. I've done numerous presentations. Honestly, Tim, a slide that has never left my like my arsenal. As soon as we got before and after templates built at Company Cam, that slide has always been in my presentation it's probably off brand as far mm. as logo goes today but i'm not changing it because in my opinion you should create a before and after on every job if you're not using company can you're in the old ways you know if you are taking pictures you're going through extra steps of having to download them on a computer having to email them out to people show somebody print them out whatever it is company cam has everything you want It just should be part of your process. Yeah. Your sales guys are already taking, you know, a front of the house or if you're doing an interior job, they're taking pictures in that space. And what better way at the end when the job's complete to snap that same exact photo and show that visual transformation. So we'll go to the malarkey shingles that you love. You know, if you got an old dilapidated roof and we go to this new malarkey shingle and it's like, man, look at that transformation. I should be doing that on every job. I I could go into in in depth on like every job should have them. I should have this arsenal so that I can go to Facebook or to Instagram. Yep. Honestly, if I'm doing it on Facebook, I should I think you should thank the homeowner, tag the homeowner in the, mm. the image, um, and say, "Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, thank you so much for allowing us to do your job." Blah blah blah. Um, second slide I have in that same presentation, Will Bates out of. Chicago owns Central Roofing. Uh, he did that, and I believe it got seven shares on on a before and after of a roof. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, yeah, kind of mind blowing. Where I could see maybe yeah. like the homeowner sharing it, but then five other people shared this. Hey, well, it could it could have been teammates on the company, but I will say, if you're not doing that, if you're not teaching your salespeople to be part of this. The, the force on social, do that now. Talk to them now and say, when we post something that's decent, I'm not even saying good, decent, I want you to share it Absolutely. every single time because this is going to get you more deals, more self-gen leads. Sometimes those are incentivized higher. So share, share on social. Absolutely. You said yeah. also testimonial, bro. You're talking about testimonials. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, and again, like not to just be on the old company cam soapbox here, but you've got you've got a place in your phone that you can capture video, whether that be the camera or your company cam account. And again, part of the process, like, hey, let's get that before and after. OK, check. That's off the list. Next step. Oh, mm -hmm. let's grab a quick testimonial video with the the property owner and, you know, 30 seconds, whatever it is, just building that library so that. You know, if you throw them out on TikTok, you can put them on Instagram mm. Reels. Just getting them out there for the world to see. Um, and you can literally build that into a to-do yeah. list for your customers and company – or for your for your employees and company cam. So it's like, hey, yeah. how do we finish a job? Well, we get a before and after or two before and afters completed. We do this. Um, we do the selfie style uh testimonial video and then maybe we do a final walkthrough with the the property owner 
And that's how we wrap up every job. We, we can build that checklist for you in company cam. So now it's like, hey, Tim, did you do your uh, job completion checklist? Yeah, I did. Okay, that means you got me yeah. a selfie-style testimonial video. You've got me before and afters, yeah. and you walked the property. Perfect. I know exactly how we are leaving that property. Tim. Love that. I'll throw in here, um, like I was saying, I think you should have a filterable gallery so people can kind of – self-select um, in the uh, company cam showcase you've got project type so whether it's commercial residential whatever it happens to be storm damage whatever um, products used so you can then they can see if they they want to if they decided they want that malarkey they can hit pr malarkey on the products or like whatever it happens to be class 4 resistant or whatever boom they have all those types of projects and then last and i think you should have one to two in every category and then city and state so you can essentially allow them to look in their city what kinds of projects have you done in their city or whatever um, no matter what this is an undertaking and i will say it's a worthwhile undertaking some of the stuff that we've got around the edges of these company cam galleries it's frosting. This is a nice little, we're trying to warm your heart with this website, but this is meat and potatoes in your website. You need to have good work and show as much of it as you possibly can because the more you show, the more confidence that they will have in your ability to complete their project. And the more you show, like you were saying, you liked it because our clients, johnstonrestoration.net, Beautiful, beautiful website. Go check it out, johnsonrestoration.net. You can see how we work in the company cam uh, showcase. And they have, from the beginning to the end, so they, they in the showcase that shows the beginning um, pictures of the roof and then shows the completed project, which is even more impactful than if you just show that final one. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that. I mean, roofing's fairly straightforward. I don't think many people want to get up and re-roof their own yeah. house, but you know, even some of my, yeah. my contractors that I work with, one of my favorites are the, the Pentec um, team and they're doing garage floor and different floor coatings. And it's like, Oh, that seems kind of expensive. I'll just maybe do this off the shelf Home Depot version. Yeah. But then if you have this, you know, complete timeline and they're like oh we're grinding all the way down to get to a fresh surface and we're we're doing these things and it's like mm. i don't have any of those tools i have no desire to get any of those tools yeah i'm gonna go with these guys so i think it kind of can add to like the complexity of a job because sometimes you know as homeowners mm. we're like oh that should be pretty easy and then you stumble upon their website and you're like mm, looks like there is a lot that goes yeah. into this job yeah, the roofing the roofing equivalent is like decking is often rotted once they pull off the shingles, or or when you're pulling off the shingles, there's like another set of shingles, yeah. which is the wrong way to do it, by the way. But and then there's like there's people I've heard of like taking off that set and there's another set of shingles. So, <laughs> but yeah, rotten decking and like yeah, a homeowner, what am I gonna do if there's rotten decking or or damage to a, a the decking? I'm Yep. For lack of a better word, screwed. Like I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need a roofer for that type of stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Roofers, you want at least five solid lead gen tactics building chemistry. Let's say you have door knocking, referral systems, job site branding, and you add in aggressive SEO, paid ads, and boom! Mmm, smells like more leads. Hookagency.com. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, John Dye had a video out this weekend about tearing off shingles for his roofing company and there was no underlayment and just nothing at all. And it's like, yeah, well, unfortunately yeah. as a homeowner, if, if I'm tearing my own shingles off and there's no underlayment, I may put my shingles back on with no underlayment just because oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's how it's supposed to be done. So yeah, just adding to that complexity so, so that they can see what's in the job. Yeah, and it like I will say this the quality of your pictures, if you can amp it up a little bit for this, especially the final pictures of the home, it's worth it, right? It's, you know, it doesn't require the most expensive drone to get that shot, right? All you need is a little I mean, like this is my opinion, like DJI Mavic the Mini 
is I mean, I'm sorry, I'm thinking roofers. I know you we got other contractors that might watch this. So if you have other takes on this, let me know. But like there is also like principles of photography. I'm gonna give you the one on one real quick. The two third, one third. So like the the either the the one third where there's a, an object in that. So let's say you you know you have the the walkway is in one third and then the home is in two thirds. There's like a one third, two thirds split. That's a really good one. Um, or the figure. So if you have something, uh, uh, you know, a figure or like a a piece of the roof in one side and then it's kind of the other side is kind of like a little bit, sometimes it's a little closer than you might think. So you can get some like actual like detail in the photo, like if there's some detail that's very clear, then the rest of it, the brain kind of adds it. So you can get in close to some of the shingles and get like uh, an angle so that you can really see the detail shot. And then same, I'm sure with some of these other trades, one third, two third is a good principle. Um, crank up, if you've got a phone, make sure it's on the highest possible like setting as far as detail goes, because there is Somebody taught me the other day, if, you, if you're doing a video, just put it to 60 instead of 30 in the corner and it like makes the, the video higher quality and it's like, it helped a lot. And so I like switched that and boom, my, my videos got better. And then lastly, I'll just say angles, kind of dramatic angles. Like we were looking at that Johnson restoration site and they've got some pretty kind of dramatic angles over here on the corner of the house and it's it's kind of like down and it looks it looks cool though. It makes it look professional. So you don't have to have like this crazy, you know, camera to get these things, but sometimes it's just the taste. And maybe you choose somebody on your team that has visual taste to go take these photos. You know, sometimes there's owners and there's two owners and there's one guy that kind of gets the visual thing and the marketing a little bit more. Give the camera to, or tell him to go get those photos um, or somebody on your team that's like got a great Instagram. You know what I mean? Like they, they know what they're doing and how to get people to follow them. Give the have them take the photos. You know what I mean? Like maybe this is a who, not how question. Maybe this is, I know this person has taste. I'm going to let them go. It doesn't have to be a professional photographer, but generally if you get somebody with taste on your team, it really will help. Yeah. Well, and I think too, like just, you know, up, like your phone's pretty, pretty darn powerful, especially some of these new, you know, Google Pixel 7 just came out, the iPhone, whatever yeah. number we're currently on. Um, and the other thing too is like, even if you're leveraging, so like, you're leveraging your company cam account. Um, little trick that a lot of people don't know when you're on the camera screen, if you click on the little gear, you can go into your camera settings and we've got normal, high, and super fine. Normal is mm. going to be just fine for all your everyday photos. But to your point, Tim, like you're trying to capture one of those final images, bump it up to super fine and, you know, get the highest resolution possible, even within your company cam. Um, mm -hmm. So that, you're you're able to publish some things um that have that little bit more detail to them any other like tricks or tips that you've seen for getting higher quality or better like like the look because i'm looking at jo johnson restorations and like some of these other ones that we're like there's sometimes there's higher there's they're better looking just by the, i think it's the nature of like if you're doing these galleries, you kind of have to think about your company cam a little bit different, right? If you're doing a showcase, you need to get those final shots looking pretty good. You don't just want to throw work onto your site that's like not, because some people with company cam, they're thinking of it like documentation. And I'm asking you to think about it like presentation. And we're, we're, we're urging you to think about your galleries different. This is presentation now. What would you want to show somebody if you were with a prospect at that moment and you're like, look at this job. Ooh, look at that job. You know, like that's what you got to put up there. You want to put like the highlights first. Yeah. So I, obviously using the super fine um, is, is a big thing. I would say even just going away from company cam completely, like obviously you're using company cam, but 
making sure that there's a mm. way that your team's incentivized to be taking quality photos. I think that's one of the biggest things, and I think a lot of that comes down to the fact that, you know, we talked about certain uh, websites that haven't been updated since the day they built the website, and it's like, if you as a, an owner or as a marketing manager or director, if you're not actively looking for new content, you're obviously not putting any priority on it with your team as well. Like if you're saying like, mm. oh, we haven't added anything to our website in six years, you probably haven't put any priority with your team as well. And I think there's some some little things you can do where, you know, it's just part of the process. Maybe you incentivize um, some sort of competition where before and after with the most likes on Facebook and Instagram each month gets $250 Amazon card or whatever it is, yeah. you know, back to the self-generated leads, help them understand how they can be getting self-generated leads through this content. I think that's a big yeah. thing. So I think just, you know, yeah, taking great photos, some of those things, but I think if you just let them understand why it's valuable to be taking these great photos, yeah. that a lot of people can probably spend a few extra seconds and be like, oh, that one happens to look better than this one. Um, and I, it didn't take me much longer, but I know the why behind taking a good photo. So I think that would be my big thing is from the owner or marketing perspective, just, you know, really pushing the why downhill to make sure your team understands like, Hey, this is going to be putting more money in our pocket one way or another. We need to be taking great, great photos, videos at the end of jobs. Now you're just giving leadership advice, man. If you explain the why up front then you're going to have a lot clearer road ahead of you and like a lot more cohesion with the different people. Like I think, yeah, I like start every meeting now with like, here's why we're about to talk about what we're about to talk about. And like the result that I want, here's the very clear result that I'm looking for at the end of this. Yeah. 100%. And I mean that like, that is a blanket thing across your company, but you'd be amazed how many times contractors come to me and they say, I just can't get my guys to take photos. We're, we're not even talking about the pretty, yeah. you know, after photos, Tim, we're just talking about photos in general. Yeah. Like, I can't get my guys to take photos. And yeah. it usually boils down to, well, do they know why it's so valuable that you're taking photos yeah. of Mrs. Jones's cracked driveway or, you know, chipped drywall. Like if they know why, they'll be more yeah. apt to actually take those versus you saying like, I need all these photos. So, all right, well, let's equip people with a few more whys before they go back to their team with this information. So I'll start. You're covering your butt. Cause like, and ultimately as a salesperson, do you want that job to get all the way through and be done in a way that like gets you your full commission? Then use company cam so that you don't get a, some, hey, there's a there's a big chunk missing out of our HVAC unit and you can go back to the, this is separate from the galleries conversation, but there is a problem that was a pre-existing before we got here to something that then got affected later. So you're protecting yourself with documentation so that they can't, and, and you know, maybe they see that and they go, oh, I didn't know that, sorry. And you're like, yep, here's the photo and there doesn't need to be a problem. So you're like getting a better relationship with your customers and you're protecting yourself from a, from stupid expenses. Yeah. Um, one big one for me is oftentimes these um, companies are having handoffs from sales to production or even multiple handoffs throughout a job. And I think that that same relationship aspect is important internally as well, where you know, having that mm. clear handoff and having good documentation is is so valuable to where it's, you know, production guys saying, well, I, I showed up and I, I had a 12 foot ladder and I couldn't even get on the roof because nowhere did I know that it needed an 18 foot ladder to get on this roof. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's a perfect time to, you know, talk with the sales guys on, hey, why is it so valuable for us to be doing this or, you know, HVAC guys taking pictures of the model numbers and serial numbers so that six months, 12 months down the road when Mrs. Jones calls and says, oh, my AC unit went out. And instead of having Mrs. Jones have to go out in the, in the hot sun and try to find the model and serial number, 
boom, right there it is in your company cam account. And you've like, oh, well, looks like you've got this model. I got, I looked it up. Parts are still under warranty. We'll get somebody out in the next day to, to take a look at things, get you back going. So I think that communication piece internally is equally as valuable, if not more valuable than, than that. So that's another great why is like making sure you have internal communication. And I'll say, you know, just a little bit more related to the showcase here. You know, sometimes when you're an employee, it's like, there's always work for me at this company. There's always work for me. So I'm not concerned about the next lead coming in. But what I'll say is, do you want more work that's better? Do you want more of the types of jobs that you like? Because the better you showcase the work, the more likely you are to attract that type of stuff. Like we were saying, you grow what you show. So if you get better about taking these great shots of the best products, the best stuff or the most, you know, the highest margin or whatever it happens to be, the more likely you're going to get that type of job again. So if you love your company doing metal roofs, I don't know, like, or whatever, like let's say it's a basement remodel and it's it's glorious and it's like a fun project with like a really cool like rec room or something. Then take shots because that's you're more likely to get it again if you take really good photos and, and show it for all its glory because then later on like people are looking at that and they're like, oh, I want that too. So just a reminder, like this is how you get more of the types of work that you want. Yeah. I love, I love that. And I would even add on to that, you know, as a salesperson, how many times have, has the homeowner maybe said, yeah, let's go ahead and do this today, but please reach out to me in a couple months or next year. I do want to get my windows done or I do want to get this siding address, yeah. but like not right now. And ask yourself as a yeah. salesperson, if you're listening to this, how many times have you forgot to call that person back? And you know, that's, that's just another yeah. piece of documentation because you've got great photos, you've got great video in your company cam account. Now go in and label that project 2023 windows so that you know, hey, this is what I need to come back to. I need to call Mrs. Jones again because she wanted to get her windows done. Uh, so to your point of like knowing what kind of jobs you want, yeah, that's super powerful. And then if you can go on top of that and be like, knowing when Mrs. Jones wants that type of job done, like that's a, that's a kind of a double-edged sword that you're going to win on both sides. So many reasons, but what a, I'm going to ask you to ask yourself this now, why are we doing it? And why is it good for my team to take these photos and to showcase our best work and ask yourself that maybe write on it for a little bit, and utilize that as you're presenting this to your sales team next week or whenever you're talking about it. We're doing this new initiative to make sure every single job gets a great before and after, gets a ideal scenario, a little testimonial video or whatever it happens to be. And then hammer them with the why at the beginning of that section of the meeting. You're going to have a better time. Um, Michael, What? Uh, where can somebody... Go. Anything else you want to say about company cam and where can somebody go to uh, get started on this if they haven't util yet utilized um, company cam and showcases? Yeah. Um, so biggest thing, obviously, company cam showcases are um, very important. They're great. It's it's kind of that's kind of like the after product of company cam, though. Um, you know, we are mm -hmm. a visual first communication tool where we want to help you build truth and transparency with your clients. Obviously the showcases and the documentation, the before and afters help you do that. Um, but really company cam is going to, the second you step foot on property all the way through really helps streamline that communication process for you. Uh, if, if you want to, you know, try it out, you don't have it yet. Um, Tim, you got a great deal. So let's go to companycam.com slash hook agency. And thanks to Tim and the hook agency, we're going to give you a 14 day free trial and then 50% off your first two months. So companycam.com slash hook agency. Uh, somebody from Nebraska will reach out to you and take you for a spin on all the features, you know, cause we, we very much, I love how you like laid that out too. Cause we talked about the presentation end of, of company cam 
which it is. It's a documentation tool that then allows you, if used correctly, to present your work. Um, and so, you know, that rep from Nebraska can show you all the documentation tips and tricks as well. So, Love it. And companycam.com, you said slash hook agency? Slash hook agency, yep. Awesome. And really appreciate you coming on the show. It was a blast. I'm like, I'm proud to be associated with you guys. Like, we believe in this and believe it's going to make you more money, especially with the, the showcase here. But, you know, basically, I just took the word for it. There's so many roofers that we talked to that are like, the one thing you got it. Like, you guys are probably one of the most respected softwares in in our niche, which is roofing. And, um, yeah, it's just cool. It's cool. Uh, I appreciate you collaborating with us. And, and thank you so much for being a part of it. And um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, rate the podcast. And um, podcast is put on by HookAgency.com and HookAgency all over social. So check it out. And see you on the next episode. Bye.